and a good late evening to you. I finished work about uh, half past nine tonight, walked up to the woods, got here for about 20 past one in the morning. Um, as you've just seen I've had a bit of a midnight feast. <coughs> it's about half two now so uh, time, time for bedtime. I'm going to work out, I'm going to try and work out how to do long exposures with this camera because the stars tonight guys, whew, they're all out, you can even see the Milky Way, um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've woke probably pretty much every wood pigeon in the woods up tonight um, and on the way here I was uh, Unfortunate I couldn't get them on camera, but fortunate, fortunate enough to see um, two badgers uh, on the way here, so uh, that was a little bit of a, a treat for me. Parliaments and owls are all hooting away and screeching and what have you. So yeah, I, I do like um, nighttime hiking. So I'm going to get my head down guys and I'll, uh, I'll pick up with you in the morning. Morning guys. Um, the weather today is looking a bit uh, a bit overcast. There is some chinks of uh, blue sky. The sun is trying to make an appearance. So, as you've seen, I arrived here last night and uh, that was to give me a, a good full day um, here at camp. Uh, one of the first jobs I, I want to do is uh, go and get a, a, a long branch, put it up against the side of here, run a line out, and then I can put the tarp over that because last time I had the tarp up, it wasn't, uh, wasn't ideal. Um, I've actually bought some uh, some washing line from Poundland, so uh, this is only a temporary measure, didn't have any rope, 
So until I can get some decent utility rope, um, this is what I'm going to be using. Then it can be replaced. Uh, the tarp is still wet actually in the dry bag from uh, from last the last camp. Um, then we're going to uh, do a little bit more on the bed. I want to put want to put these back stoppers and the front stoppers in. Uh, I've already got some wood for that. So that needs processing and then I'm off to go and get some ferns and pack it out even more. It's going to take two or three, maybe four uh, sleeps to get it to the, to the depth I want, obviously, because it's compressing every time I sleep on it. So um, we'll go and do that. And hopefully um, I want to go nip down into the woods, get some firewood as usual, have a fire tonight. Probably just for warmth tonight, I would imagine, um, because I have got the bush, bush box uh, stove with me. And then we'll continue with uh, with the uh, with the fence in the walls kind of thing uh, around around that area camp. Uh, I'm still not uh, still not working properly, so again, just doing what I can. Um, it's, it's becoming more of an annoyance than anything else. But I might have a um, a remedy. Uh, I'm going to try it anyway. Um, might have a natural remedy to see if it can uh, spark some life into it. So anyway, that's me waffling, let's crack on. That should support it now.
Good morning everybody, uh, I'm just going to quickly round this video up, uh, it is about 11 o'clock now so I, need, I do need to get back. Um, the bed last night was absolutely fantastic, brilliant, uh, it did get down to 2 degrees last night so it, autumn is pretty much here, um, the nights are getting very cold now but I didn't feel any coldness with, with the Jura 2 sleeping bag, I didn't feel any coldness coming up through, through the ground. Um, I've decided now to take away that, that log store, I'm going to store my logs in the shelter, it makes a bit more sense. Yes, I'll have to climb over the bed to get them, but it's a lot drier in there and uh, it saves me buying another piece of tarp for just one job there. Uh, I may buy a specific piece of tarp for the ridge, which saves me bringing up my, uh, my DD tarp all the time. The ridge line worked really well, I made a pressing nut, nut on the line with a bit of paracord and I was quite surprised that it did hold because washing lines are inherently quite slippy. Um, so I did have a visitor yesterday, uh, just came up for a brew that was in the area so um, that took an hour, an hour and a half out of my time. But uh, yeah, it's been a really good camp. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, press that little dare icon or the YouTube subscribe button, press the little bell icon and uh, you'll get notified every time I upload a video. So thanks ever so much for watching guys, for coming along on the journey with me and I'll see you all in the next, uh, the next video guys, thanks for watching.